Thanks for being with us, everyone. As you can see, we're joined today by Ruben and Charlie. Uh, we'll start with Ruben, and then we'll open it up for your questions. Uh, we do have microphones, so uh, please raise your hand, and we'll get a microphone to you. Ruben. Thanks, Scott. Uh, and thanks for coming. Uh, during the uh, last several days of our recent road trip, Charlie and I spent a lot of time uh, discussing the future of our ball club, our organization. And in the course of those discussions, I informed Charlie that uh, we would not be renewing his contract after the 2013 season. Um, I think Charlie understands this decision um, and the fact that we are making a managerial change, um, that it is in the best interest of, our, of the future of the organization. Because we talked a little bit further, it became evident that the best course of action would be to make this change immediately as we begin the transition uh, uh, by offering the managerial position to Ryan Sandberg on an interim basis. Charlie understood this decision. Uh, making this change is not easy for me. Uh, not easy for me personally, not easy for the organization. But it's a change I think the Phillies um, need to make as we look towards the future. Charlie has been uh, clearly a very, very important part of our Phillies history, our success here. He's won a World, World Series. He's won uh, five consecutive um, league championships. And uh, he's clearly is, uh, one of the most, one of the most decorated, clearly one of the most decorated <coughs> managers in the history of our, of our franchise. Um, we've asked Charlie to remain in our organization, and I would love for, have, for him to work with me. I think he's got a lot to offer. Uh, he clearly has uh, a, a number of skill sets that I think would help our organization and help me personally as we try to move towards the future. Um, and as I stated, uh, we have, Ryan, have asked Ryan Sandberg to serve uh, on an interim basis. He has accepted this, uh, this position. Um, through the remainder of the season. Um, there will be some minor changes to our, uh, to our coaching staff. Uh, we've asked Juan Samuel to move from first base to third base. He's accepted that position. We've asked Wally Joyner to move uh, from assistant hitting coach, which will remain in that position, but he'll also move to, uh, to first base as our first base coach. I just want to say this. Uh, you people may not know the, uh, <coughs> the relationship I've had with Charlie. He's a special person. This is difficult for me. I hope he stays in our organization and I'll turn it over to Chuck. Thank you, Chuck. Thank you, Ruth. I, uh, before we get started, I'd like to, I'd like to, uh, I'd like to thank uh, Dave Montgomery. Also, I'd like to thank Ed Wade. He's the guy that, that hired me. And some people used to tell me I got Ed fired. And I look at that and believe me, if, if I did that, I would have took his place. And uh, and then, you know, like, I want to thank Ruben. I want to thank uh, Pat Gillick. I want to thank everybody in the uh, Philly organization for giving me the chance and also for staying with me. And uh, I cannot explain to you what the last nine years is actually, or eight and a half years, whatever, is meant to me. I've had some of the greatest times I've ever had in my life. Philadelphia has been the highlight of my career. I love everything about the fans. I love the city. I've talked Philly baseball everywhere I go, and uh, everything I want everything to go out on a very positive uh, attitude and note. And uh, I think it. Uh, you know, what else can I say? For the last nine years, I want to tell you I'm mad because it uh, it took the best seat in the house away from me. And I've been sitting there watching uh, Phillies play, and I've been sitting there watching the games every day. Something that I love, and. Uh, I'll just leave it right there. That's kind of how I feel about it. I, but I, I enjoyed everything about it. And like I said, it's been, uh, the fans and everybody in the uh, media people I pull for you, believe me, it's kind of who I am. And uh, I might get mad at you, and I might uh, bend or something like that and call you names, but at the same time, believe me, I'm glad I met you. I'm glad I met everyone in the room here. It's all part of life, and that's what it's all about. And I, I've met a lot of people, and I've enjoyed every bit of it. And that's about all i got to say. Thank 